This video is going to show you all how to insert a table into your Canvas page as well as put images in the table and get rid of the table lines. So this is just one of my home pages. Just has this image that I've already uploaded. And so to insert a table, I'm gonna click Edit. And I'm gonna click in this text box. And it'll bring my cursor up next to the photo. And I'm gonna click on these three dots. So you're gonna scroll over to the image that looks like a table and click table and for the sake of this video I'm just going to do a table of three so select three boxes you can obviously do more or less so I'm going to do three and I will now have this table format at the bottom so what you're going to do next is upload images to your tables so this is going to look like buttons which will be another feature that your students can use to um, go to links on your home page. So once my cursor is in this box, I'm going to click on the three dots again and click on the image that looks like an image and click upload image. And so I just have some icons on my desktop that I screenshotted to upload into these boxes. So there's one and you can resize them if needed. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to click in box two and I'm going to click on the image, upload image, and I'm going to drag in another one. The same process. Again, you can resize if you'd like. And then you're going to do the same thing for the last box. Three dots. Click on the image, upload image, and drag in your last picture. And then again, if you need to, you can resize your photos. So I'm going to save this and show you all what it looks like with the table lines. And then I'm going to show you how to get rid of them. So now I have my welcome message and I have my table with my what will be buttons with links for our students. So I'm going to go back up to edit. And in order to get rid of these table lines, I'm going to click on the table and highlight it. And then I'm going to click on the three dots again, and I'm going to click on the table icon and click on table properties. So I personally like to align my things to the center, but that's a personal preference. So I'm going to click alignment center and then go to advanced. And you're going to click on border style and you're going to click hidden and save. So now you're going to repeat the process and you're going to click on the three dots and you're going to do cell properties, advanced, hidden, save. So now you can see that all of your lines are gone. So when I push the save button, I now have pretty buttons that are no longer in a table. And it's as easy as that.